Alright, we're back in the Outer Worlds, back for, I believe, Part 5. Um, so we're at Groundbreaker right now, uh, basically this little spaceship outpost floating around. People come to gather for, it looks like, a, a good time and some, some engineering capabilities. Uh, we still have to meet that engineer that uh, Pravati wants to talk to. And go find out some stuff about the black market. I believe the name is Gladys we need to talk to. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let's do this. Alright, so this is engineering, I guess. You coming? This is Halcyon's X411? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Easy now. Defend your Pacific Township from the dangers of alien wildlife. Jun Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Salute. Copy that, Chief. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Just passing through. Now that ship's out of impact, I can say the same headed for Monarch. Yeah. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Oh, thank you. So big commander in here. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. Probably you want to talk to Junlei. Go ahead, yeah. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person, yeah. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that, then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Alright. That was a good little companion quest. Try to build Parvati's confidence here. She seems very, uh, not confident, so. Try to help her out a little bit. We still need to go back kind of to Edgewater and explore a little more. We kind of bugged out pretty quickly after the, uh, whole power issue. Probably should go back and see how they're doing. Speak to Gladys and Groundbreaker. Alright, let's go talk to Gladys real quick, and then we'll probably make haste for, uh, Edgewater again. I don't care about that. 
What the? I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. You okay, man? Gotta ask you about the hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. Enough hat talk. That's what you're saying. Or how you get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. Oh my gosh. I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. You doing all right in there, man? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a Spacer's Choice is affordable. You see in there? <laughs> I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog. Which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time. But we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and mantle floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. I could just keep going with that. Alright. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry for your situation. I can't help you, though. Alright. Just, just chilling here, huh? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Hmm. 10,000 bits. Oh my gosh. No one's ever found my bits lacking. <laughs> tell me about this. Op yeah, tell me about the opportunity. 10,000 bits, that's a well, lot of money. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more of flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here, see the details Do you yet. know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Yeah, You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. All right. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Thank you. What a nice lady. Who in the world is this? Hey, you got a second? Oh, this is a guy I talked to earlier. 
What's up, man? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Get lost. You're pretty eager to throw in somebody barely know, yeah. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. I got you hire. You're going about it all wrong. I'm not gonna hear myself get lost. Tell me why I should hire you. Yeah. Tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. I can tell. Well, if Parvati likes him, I'll take him. I don't really know what he does, what his skills are. He looks kind of more of a hand man I can take him on my next mission see how he does and if he does well then I'll do it if not then I'll let him go so let's go ahead and hire him wow <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that thanks boss you're not gonna regret this you got a crew now Felix all right boy somehow I always find my way back to the groundbreaker head back to the ship whatever you say boss I'll see you back there. Oh my gosh, it just disappeared. All right, Pravati, let's go. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Easy. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? What you got, Pravati? So, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Oh my goodness. It does kind of sound like she likes she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. It's gonna be very nice. Folks have said the same about me. Could just be the nearest warmest person. She's pretty nice, yeah. She she definitely is one of the, the brightest people, I think, in the game, so. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. <laughs> Alright. 
close. Not anymore. Question I mark? don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Great idea. Drink sell everything. That's what's... We you want next time we have your drinks around me. Yeah, we're leaving Thanks, now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Alright, we're not gonna do that right now, though. We'll come back. There's Felix. What does he got? A grenade launcher, huh? I knew I picked him up for a reason. We're gonna go back to Edgewater.